Alright, today we've got an old one, and it is SH Figuarts Yuzariha from Hell's Paradise. So, when I opened this and went through it, I was like, ah... You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not too, uh, keen about spending that much money for this type of figure, but she started to come around, so let's go ahead and get into this thing. Back at it again, baby! Yes, what is up, everybody? Hello, my name is LeCompton. Welcome to today's in-depth review of I'm going to butcher the name of this SH Figuarts Yuzuruiha from Hell's Paradise or that other word that I can't say. So looking nice in the box, window shots looking really nice, and I did check the, I, I, I can't find any third party bootlegs, any of this. So this is all the officialness that you want to look for just in case it happens down the line. The Tomashi Nations quality sticker seal of approval, Bandai Tomashi Nations, and that Hell's Paradise Kanji down there looking nice. Yuzuriha, just, just, she's, she's asking for something. And I'm not going to say what it is, but I think you know what it is. <laughs> Uh, side shots looking nice and then product shots on the back looking nice. I did want to let you know that this is a American release that I got. As you can see, it's got like the blue fin and the stuff on the back kind of covering more of the stuff. I don't like that, but it's, it's, it's fine. And then there's the other side. I'm not going to put that on the thing there. There's the top if you really, really want to look at it. Just being all adorables and cutes and whatnot. But I'm just going to go ahead and get her out of the box and there she is out of the box not coming with too too much but eh, a decent amount i would say what's really standing out are the four interchangeable face plates i did get her uh, at her original release so like i said this is a very old school or this is kind of like a catch-up review of the old stuff that i have ha haven't opened so it's gonna be interesting i guess to review something this old because i believe it came out in october of last year correct me in the comments uh if i'm wrong on that but she comes with two kunai and then three pairs of interchangeable hands and then a sheathed uh katana which i don't know if it's gonna come out or not i don't think it will i, th I think she's more of a kunai fighter but i did get her around i think it was like 60 to 75 dollars which is definitely on the high end i did check on aliexpress like i said there are no bootlegs and she is in a range from 43 to 67 dollars so a good 20 dollar gap there but i i everything i've seen looks official there so i'm excited for this and one i haven't opened the other the hell's paradise figures as far as like gabby mario or sagiri so I don't know what to compare it to. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get in to this review. For articulation, I am going to do my best not to make this creepy. Or do we lean into... Th no, no, we don't. No, no, uh, 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 uh. So, Yuzu, I'm gonna call her Yuzi because uh, we, easier, easier for sure. So, can look up about that much, which looks good. Look down all the way that much, which is fan-freaking-tastic. Can do a little head tilt right over there and a little head tilt right there. Do a full, like, yoga just all the way around there. I do like that. I don't know why you would ever want Want to but exorcist style all the way around now as far as going to the arms look at that jesus h roosevelt christ t pose that's not a t pose that's a v pose baby that is fantastic we haven't seen that in a while and i'm happy to report that sometimes sh figures like female figures don't really hit the mark and this one looks like it's it's doing good so far as far as a double jointed arm you've got that right there at the ball joint within the wrist can do a little flexion right there as per usual i did also want to call attention to can we can we do it can we remember it yes we can a little a tiny 
a tiny teensy bit of, uh, I would say butterfly joint action that's coming out right there. Now, as far as like crossover, I don't really see any reason for this character to need to do like really strong butterfly joint action, but that's what, ooh, oh, Yuzi baby, what is you doing? What, is, oh my goodness, not, not looking too good, not, okay, all right, put it, okay, that's, that's it, that's, that's what you're gonna get for a crossover, so not, not the greatest. Yuzi, not the greatest. Now, as far as the full 360 around can do like that and all the way around there, it, it's kind of a little <sighs> difficult because the, the shoulder wants to come out like so and then pop out, which didn't have a problem because you pop it right back in. So yeah, <laughs> we're already off to a great start, but as far as the ab crunch goes, you're gonna get that, that I would say. Uh, can you can you can you can you try a little bit more, baby girl? Uh, okay, so nothing, nothing as far as the ab crunch goes right there. Now, as far as a limbo style, all the way back there, but that is attributing to the actual hip joint action right there. So if I really had to do it, I don't really no there's not really gonna be too much of a limbo style without the hip joints there so that is something to keep in mind Ooh. i don't know about you but i'm gonna leave these bangs off kind of she kind of looking cute right there now as far as bending oh pff, stop it okay <laughs> You can bend over like that <laughs> as far as the hips go. And as far as the, okay, like if you re, oh, okay. See, see how the back is doing that? So I take that back. There is a little bit of limbo style action. Now, as far as the split, I think this is where we're gonna get the biggest, the biggest improvements right there. And it's gonna get a full uh, splitting action right here. Now I did, did want to show you that as far as the kick up, right there that's that's kind of what you're gonna what you're gonna get there now what i did notice is when you're moving it up there is a specific click right or not a click per se but you you do feel like a little bit of a notch going through and that's that's hitting it right there but if you move it to the side and then go up you're also going to get it right there uh, forgive me, but there is a bicep swivel as well. I just got really like disappointed by the, the butterfly joints, but also the, the fact that she could do like crazy V poses. So that was, that was pretty cool. Her shoulder is still giving me a little bit of problems. Like really, really pushing it in there. Uh, does have a, okay. We're going to call that a thigh cut right here. Uh, right there, and uh, you're gonna be able to move it around like so. Double jointed knees, which look really good, I would say. And you're gonna get right there. And now, as far as a split in the back there, that uh, that booty, that booty not letting ha anything happen. So uh, that is that's a little something as far as like moving it back. That's that's really all you're gonna get as far as moving it back. So that is something to take into account. Uh, okay, that, this looks like it would swivel, but there is no swivel there. The toes, the, the ball joint within the ankle right there is going to go down like so, go up like yay. Uh, okay, oh, 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 just the most awkward uh, ankle rocker right there. Okay, there, there you go. There's, you're gonna get it, your weird ass ankle <laughs> rocker right there and toe pivots very very akin to a, a shinobi or a kenochi so articulation i would say a good improvement on a female a female figure because i would say like i don't know like nobara especially bulma bulma is the one that really pops into my mind um not too much as far as like a double jointed arms or anything like that so it is good to see those improvements on this figure so far yeah that, that's 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 my bad that's that's the camera's fault so as far as the paint apps and sculpting i wouldn't say anything is really going on as far as the shading goes there's really nothing going on very stark very stark colors you've got the just 
good gracious boob shot. Uh, old pie, old pie shot right there. And you've got the hole that it takes in the katana. These little ropes right here for the, the thing are attached right at the top of the ass and then uh, don't really go anywhere, but they are soft plastic. So that does look good. As far as like the gauntlets and stuff, that looks, ooh, show it off, show it off girl. Uh, looks, looks really good. Has a little bit of like a, 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 a muted, um, like gunmetal metallic right there. And then also she does have the smoke bombs Wrong. on each one of her little belts right there. I can't believe how literally incorrect I was. So that is not a smoke bomb. That is slime canisters to activate her little slimy slime powers, doing all that Spider-Man acidic stuff. The ropes going all around. Um, the one thing that I'm always, always aware of and always keeping an eye out is does the skin color match going from all around the body. So like chest to, to head, to arms, to chest, all like that. And from what I can tell, that exposed thigh right there matches exactly what it needs to be on the arm. Now it's going down to the pants here. Like I said, no, no shading, no shading whatsoever. Stark purple, uh, but the, sh the sculpting does look really good. Now, as far as the double jointed knee, when it comes out, uh, it is, it's still the texture of the pants there. So that's cool. And then you've got the, the flare out uh, for the boots right there. And then my favorite part is these, uh, all right, I'm not, I'm not gonna make this a feat video, but I do need to point out that it's got like the ninja or the uh, shinobi kun ku kunochi uh, feet right there. So <laughs> that does look really good. Uh, but overall, sculpting really good. It's a boob shot again, but you know, you, you clicked on this video, you knew it was gonna be a little bit of a thirsty video. And, <laughs> and, and I would say sculpting on her is pretty good as well. No horny shots, no horny shots. All right, for accessories. Hair looks really good. I do like the little bit of the tie uh, and the kind of like the ornamental hair piece right there. It's it's very small, but it is detailed. It's like gold with a little bit of like almost a cherry bead right there. Sculpting on the hair to looks feathery and very accurate to the anime, especially, especially the bangs right there. They're flat, but also they've got that little bit of featheredness to them. As far as the face goes, I did want to go over the hair real quick but as far as the face goes it's adorable it is rather it's it's not like wow but it's cute but it's also like ah, it's fine but it does have the glare in the eyes looks really good her eyebrows are just paper thin uh her mouth it's I would say it's sculpted for the most part. And then the nose is uh, definitely achieving that Neko look right there. So I would say this is pretty good neutral faceplate. All right. I would say it's basically the same faceplate, but with a tiny little tongue hanging out right there. Uh, nothing is really popping out, but I will say the eyelashes on both of them uh, do look really good. The glare in the pupils looks great as well on both sides. And the tongue is it's just like... All right, we needed extra faceplate, but uh, just kind of put that little cat tongue right, right there uh, so we can say it's a different faceplate. All right, this one's starting to get a lot more, uh, I would say, personality. Uh, starting from the top, eyebrows do look good. Very paper thin. Eyelashes around the eyes look really good. The sclera, the white part, the pupils, the iris, all of it looks fantastic. And then the mouth, it's small. It's not, not doing anything like crazy but i i do you know it's it's capturing her you know it's definitely capturing the character another bang oh another banger of a faceplate <laughs> i would say uh looks really good the eyes are perfect a little bit of uh, eyelashes coming out right there the eyebrows are paper thin as per usual and need to be uh mouth is it's 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 defined enough, but it's nothing crazy. Tongue looks really good. The teeth, uh, you can see like almost like the gum line if you look up at it like that. But then if you move it right here, I would say it's it's pretty good. And still holding a, that Neko uh, face sculpting. I'm starting to catch on what happened with these face plates here. And they're like, hey, we got one mouth to work with. Do do something. It's like close the eyes, open the eyes. And then what is... Okay, that's 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 the difference. I was wondering, I was like, okay, 
this looks identical, but one is devious, one is cute kawaii, and looks good. I will say the same thing. Eyes all of it around, the mouth is uniform, and looks great. Nothing is really jumping out, but I think it's fine for what it is. Now, will I say that these faceplates are worthy for her original price tag of around 70 something dollars? No. It just, I know what you're thinking. So it just so happened to be that the kunai line up in this specific spot. So don't, don't ask questions. So uh, I will say kunai look good as far as the sculpting goes, but I, Personally, from the Naruto line, have definitely seen some better kunai in my time here. There is no, there is no like wrap around the handles right there. It's just straight gunmetal. Uh, it feels a little uh, lackluster in the sense of you could have done better Naruto Kid Naruto, which was the same price, if not cheaper. Had better kunai that's that's all i'm saying now as far as the 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 hidden katana on the back here it looks good uh but uh it does not come out of its sheath so it is just a specific prop piece and uh wa wa watch this just just real quick just gonna move it move it around oh uh, now now it's not wanting it to, to do it but i will say like moving it around makes it pop out of the the uh the peg hole on the back there so it's not like super sturdy when it comes to posing i could see it knocking out and being a really big nuisance all right four hands like i said three pairs of interchangeable hands not too much you do have like a little come here and then uh <laughs> that, that that's a little a little uh, too spicy there and then you get the flat hands and then of course the kunai holding hands and then some fists so nothing too crazy it's a good variety all right, four size comparisons. So we got the Dark Trio up there, mainly. Actually, all of them. All of the Dark Trio protagonists plus Yuzuriha, or Yuzi. Uh, so she stands at 5.7 inches and done by research by me and Tony. Thank you, Tony. She is perfect on where she needs to be. She's, she's a little bit right here on the forehead of uh, Sagiri, which is right there and then when you compare Sagiri to Gabi Maru uh, which is right there it shows everything is on point the others I just wanted to have up there for the sake of ooh dark three so I think she looks good I'm happy to say that she is scaling perfectly with the rest of her line so far uh, I have not reviewed those two right there and it's the first time I've actually even gotten them out of the box and you should feel special because I don't do that am I going to move them around no I won't so with all of that being said will you Zuriha claim that hottie with a naughty body spot for the gots to freaking have it award god that was not not good not making yourself look good or will she be an all bark a no bite kunochi find out after this short break oh murray did you hear about nick across the way yeah got sprayed did he just get sprayed yeah but didn't get the roots whatever got him this time was different i didn't think anything could take all nick hey next time it could be us roundup no root no weed no problem Ladies and gentle collectors, are you entertained by Yuzuriha or Yuzi, my girl? What are you thinking so far? So I've I've had I've had some time to ingest to develop what how like basically at first like out of the box I was like, eh, yeah, all right, sure, I guess I'll take it. You can see like I've I've it's it's been days. <laughs> <laughs> since I started this <laughs> but the more I've got to to handle and pose and have fun with her the more I have started to appreciate her more and more I have found an easy way to make her do the slime effect and that's just the it's gonna sound sexual but get her wet sir sir <laughs> could have said that better <laughs> put water on her is what I mean like <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Put water on her to make her look like she's doing the, the slime effect right there. So, 
What I will say, the good things. Uh, actually, no, let's start with the bad things. The bad things, I feel like maybe they could have... I, I, this this seems like more of a Figma thing to do, but maybe included a slime effect. Like, just a, a little something to attach to the arm and drip off. Uh, that's what I would prefer. Uh, the kunai are fine. I, I have fun with them. I will say that the katana that I was having a really hard time with, like, it was just a... And like not sticking in you really gotta shove that ball joint into the back piece there and then after it's in it's good if there's I have not had any problems with it after that the the part that I do have problems with articulation wise is like the arms and stuff like getting her to do like that and put them up or anything kind of like move them around like I was showing the it doesn't spin or do like a very smooth motion it's very it's very uh, disconnected or disjointed to where i've almost had it pop out a couple times it's, it's not a problem as in like it breaks or anything but it is like uh, i wish this was easier to do but as far as like her posing and everything that she can do the faces are i wouldn't say like lackluster but like i said earlier it it does feel like they just copy and pasted some faces like all right we got a smiley we got closed eyes the mouths are the same on like two to three of the face plates and then the eyes are the same on two to three face plates so that would be my gripe on that but all of that being said i have had fun with her i do enjoy her i would say that Let's go ahead and jump into rating scale. So my rating scale is hate it, like it, love it, got to freaking have it. And with this one, I looked, I paid $75 for her. Would I recommend you getting her at full price? If you are a full on blown Hell's Paradise fan, sure. Are you a hardcore collector? Sure. Is she a fun figure? Yeah. Is she worth $75? I don't think so. I don't think so. I would say around 45 to 50 if you were to pick her up. And with that being said, at the price range that I got her, I would put it at a like it. But if you can get her for a really good price or range around that 40 to 50 dollars, like I was mentioning on AliExpress, I'd say love it. So that's that is my rating scale on Yuzi Riha. Uh, that's that's not not good. Use it uh, So let me know in the comments what you think. Was I too hard on her? Too easy? Would love to hear your feedback. And stay tuned next week because we are reviewing the critically lauded, the the just over instated Teen Gohan from the SH Figure Arts line, and I've heard nothing but good things except for one bad thing. So stay tuned for that. Guys, thank you so much for watching this, and until next time, Compton out. <laughs>